Hey, how's it going, Brooks? Douglas James here. I'm super pumped to be able to do this SEO analysis for you. Thanks for taking the time out of your day to watch this video. Um, in this marketing analysis, I'm going to show you exactly where Stellar Solar is online, how much business you guys are bringing in from the website uh, versus your top competitor. I'm going to reverse the uh, engineer the top competitor and give you the exact process that we take to get a new guys ranked number one in San Diego for whenever anyone is looking for solar panel installation products all right uh, so as you can see we're on my business page um, thanks for reaching out to our company amp local um, so I just want to jump right into the video here um, so here we are on stellarsolar.net all right all right so as you may already know you know over 90 percent of the population when they need a product or service especially for solar um, you know they're going to use Google. It's the most powerful, popular way to get information from the internet. You know whether it be like if it feels solar. You know you need your carpets clean. You need to buy a house. You need to buy a car. Uh, you're going on vacation. Um, you know you need to rent a limo. You're getting married. You name it. Um, you know so you already know that Google is is where it's at. It's it's the it's the power online. Um, you know and. 96% of them are going to click from the very first page, okay? And the top three control around 70% of the whole page. Um, so as you already know, that's those statistics make sense to you. You know that the top positions have the most power, okay? So in San Diego, um, right here, you know, this is our uh, Google Keyword Planner and I'm sure you're familiar with this if you have ran any kind of PPC campaigns but this shows us exactly what people are searching online and the average times they're searching per month okay so it's a great tool to get an idea alright so for the keyword solar panels in San Diego alright every single month around 22 25,000 times per month up to 30,000 even someone's looking for your services and your products all right, so that's a lot of motivation um, to be ranking for these keywords, you know. Um, so the word, the keyword solar panels alone gets searched you know, 1,900 times per month. That is a that that is the hottest keyword search that you could be ranked for. Another really big uh, keyword that you can rank for, um, not just uh, solar panels, is solar companies. Okay. This is probably the uh, next biggest one besides solar panels, and of course solar, and I'll get into that in a second. But solar panels, you know, it's still bringing in average uh, per month here, 140 um, solar power, 390 solar energy. I mean, the the list goes on. It goes on and on. Um, you know, solar system. That's probably would be a negative keyword, but solar panel insulation cost. Um, there's so many best solar companies. That's a really good one with 90 hits. Um, I know the one keyword, just solar, is around a thousand per month. Um, so Google gives us great data. Look at that solar, you know, a thousand per month. Again, solar panels, nineteen hundred. So the list goes on, you know. And there's literally eight, like six hundred, you know, it goes up to eight hundred, um, you know, keywords to rank your business for. Um, so this thing, SEO, is really all about keyword research. Once we know what people are searching. Now we want to target the most profitable keywords and have them mentioned on our site and online mentioning us um, so that you ranked higher in those keywords, right? Um, so that's the, that's the basic gist of, of it. You know, SEO is what you say about your business online, what everybody else says about your business online. And I'm going to get into the details of that. So that's the potential market you're looking at. You know, we talked about it 24 up to 30,000 times per month. Someone is looking for a solar product or solar service or solar company here in San Diego. So a lot of potential business. It's huge and it's year round. All right. So literally year round, you could have um, the amount of business you, you could dream for. So right now, uh, Stellar Solar, you guys are getting consistently, um, you know, around 1,000 to 1,100 unique visitors per month. That's pretty good. Okay. Um, your top competitor, which is Sullivan, they are getting around 2,800, so nearly three times as many. Okay, so let me show you this. I, uh, if you're ever searching, you want to search your business and search keywords, always use the incognito window. So if you're in Google Chrome, just hit these three lines, go to new incognito window. Okay, I'm, I already have one open. I'm going to close this, but what this does, it erases your, your cache, your um, saved history. Okay, so San Diego Solar Companies. All right. 
So not in the top three of the map pack. If you're not in the top three here, you, you might as well not even be there at all. If I hit more places, there's more going to show up. Um, but then you guys are ranked right here. Okay, so that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So you rank number seven on for this one. Okay, remember this search gets about 140 per month. This big one, San Diego Solar, gets a thousand. Okay, so there you guys are number three. Okay, and then here's solar panels. Okay. San Diego solar panels this is the biggest one um, around nearly 2,000 per month and there's your top competitor Sullivan he's in the top he's in number two in the map pack pulling a ton of business from there and he's also number three and he's number four okay and on this one you guys are ranked um, number one two three four five six seven eight okay so you guys are on the first page for some really heavy keywords um, the problem is you guys aren't far uh, high enough so let me show you this chart this shows you when you're ranked number one how much business you control so being number one you can tra control ne nearly over a third or 35 percent of the total clicks that go on that page um, ranking number three you control you know around 11 percent of the total clicks okay um, and where you guys are, so for like this search that gets around uh, 2,200, um, I'm sorry, around 2,000 per month, you're ranked number eight. So you're controlling maybe 4% of those per month. So to get you up where um, Sullivan's rat right now or two or one is going to literally uh, quadruple the amount of business that you're getting right now. All right. Just in, in this one keyword. All right. But the good thing is you guys are ranking very well. You're getting, you know, around 1,000 hits per month. Um, you're ranking for a lot of local searches. But for the big uh, money-hitting keywords for San Diego, that's where you guys are at right now. So San Diego Solar, San Diego Solar Panels, and uh, San Diego Solar Companies, okay? and But the biggest thing is you're not visible in the, the map packs at all. Um, so I'm going to get into that in a second. So... I kind of so now at this point, you know, I've showed you, you know, where you're at. We've identified the keywords, the amount of business potential, right? Um, I've showed you how many clicks you're getting versus your top competitor. All right, he's getting um, like nearly three times as many. I showed you where you guys are ranked at for these three major keywords for San Diego. All right. So the next thing that I'm going to talk to you about is how do we get you there? Okay, Google's algorithm. All right, so you probably already know a little bit about this. I'm going to go into a little bit depth, not completely. Um, Google has an algorithm. This is how their algorithm determines what, who gets in what position, right? Um, I'm only going to talk to you about five things. They're the most important out of everything that you could ever know about Google's algorithm. All right, the first thing is your website isn't mobile friendly, okay? So 80% of people, when they're shopping for a product or service, they're going to be on their phone. All right, so good thing for you guys, you are mobile friendly. So I wanted to get out, that out the way. You're doing that right. We don't need to worry about redoing the website. All right, the next thing, authoritative content. Okay, um, so what Google wants to know is when someone hits your page, are you educating them? All right. Are you mentioning all your services, all your products on the home page, specifically on the home page um, and in the cities that you service? So San Diego, San Diego has to be mentioned a lot and in bold, you know, and all the keywords, the keyword research that we're doing for you. If you're going to rank for all these keywords, you have to have a mentioned on the home page. So for you guys, the biggest problem also uh, one last thing on that, you have to have. 1,000 to 2,000 words on the home page. Um, being that you're a solar market, it's a very, very com competitive niche. I recommend we shoot for 1,500 to 2,000 words. Um, you know, we have great writers that can get you unique, relevant content built with the keyword research that you need to rank your business. All right. Um, so when I look at the page right now, you know, this is pretty much. The con all the content that I see right here. So these two small paragraphs, okay? 
we definitely want to build out more content. So I want to give you an idea of what authoritative content looks like. I went to Google and I typed in elephant, okay? Just bear with me. Wikipedia is notorious for being number one on these searches because of their authoritative content. So if you look at this page, there's endless amounts of information about elephants, the, their evolution, where they came from, where they sleep, what they eat, everything, you name it. Um, this is probably 50,000 words plus. Um, but just to give you an idea, you want large chunks of information, like something like this, all right? Something like this, okay? You want, a, want like I said, 1,500 to 2,000 words on the home page with many of the keywords mentioned, okay? And in bolded text, okay? So like you have the best solar company in San Diego. We need to do take away these long tail keywords in bold and just bold like solar, okay? Or just solar panels, all right? San Diego solar, it's a long tail keyword, okay? It's good to, to do that, but um, you don't wanna show that you're trying to do too much. Okay, so just the just the keywords, because you're gonna have the city and you have the address, okay, in San Diego. That's all showing Google that you're local. All right. So I'm gonna go into more depth about that. So um so that's authoritative content. Okay, we gotta get you the content. We talked about the mobile friendly site, we talked about the content. All right. So the next thing I want to talk to you about is the third thing. Um so Google recently released an update, okay, for their page title, page description. Um, so here I did, if you ever want to look at your site and all your pages indexed to Google, you go to site colon www and then your URL. So here's your main homepage site, right? So this is your page title and this is your page description, okay? So uh, recently, back in May, um, Google extended the page title and page descriptions, okay? So now um, your page title is actually 70 uh, to 71 characters, okay? And now your meta tag, your description can be 100 characters per line up to three lines, okay? So this is all a part of optimization. So right here, this title, this looks like you have about 40 characters, okay? You want to, we want to extend that and we want to stuff more keywords into here. And it's going to be like this long where I'm at the, with the arrow. And we want to add more content with keyword research to where you have three lines of information with 300 characters, just like you do on this page. Okay. So let me show you so, uh, Sullivan's real quick. All right. So look at this guy. Their description is like probably twice as long, right? But uh, I'm sorry, the title is probably twice as long, right? Um, but the description is still short. So this tells me they have not, their SEO efforts or whoever they're working with have not found that hole in their system yet. So this is going to be one way for us to leverage Google's algorithm for your benefit, okay? Um, as well as the authoritative content and the keyword research that I mentioned earlier, okay? But this one is a big one right here. You want to utilize that. There's a reason why Google puts out these updates. There's a reason why there's a, you know, mobile-friendly, um, you know, search to see if your site's mobile-friendly or not, all right? It's all part of Google's algorithm. They want the best of the best online and in the number one spots. So we have to make sure we fill everything out accordingly, all right? So... Page title, page description, okay? I'm not going to go into it anymore. Um, you know, if we want to rank for solar panels and solar, we want to mention those keywords individually. So they, and solar companies as well. So as you can see, they have solar companies. Um, the only thing in your page title that you're ranking for, really, um, that you're shooting is solar panels and, and, you know, solar. So we can add another one for a local solar company or San Diego solar companies. Um, we can get creative and then add the uh, description. Okay, so that's that. All right, the fourth thing I'm going to talk to you about. All right, this one's huge. That all, Everything I just talked to you about is like on-page optimization. This is what we're going to go do to your site, okay? Um, there's another thing with the on-page also. I'm not going to go in depth with it is the pictures. So if you have all these pictures and videos, of course, all these things need to be named accordingly. You know, so, you know, when you save them to your computer, you can name them San Diego Solar Panels or something like that instead of like JPEG XYG134. I'm sure you get what I'm saying. All these uh, pictures 
and videos that you have in all these um, menus need to be named properly. But we can get into that. That's a part of our process. Um, I don't want to get too far into it, but um, that's also a part of what we do as well. So let me get back to the, the five key things that I'm talking to you about. Um, the fourth thing I'm going to talk to you about, this is now we're going to start talking about off-page optimization. Okay. Um, so if you're going to be ranked um, in the maps, so to show up in the maps for all these cities for San Diego, you're going to have to have a 100% um, complete um, local citation profile okay so right off the bat you can see that you have a 31% error rate okay let me show you why um, so these are uh, local citations all right so some examples are you know Google Yahoo Facebook being yellow pages and white pages just to give you an example when we do them the business name address and phone number have to be identical because if not Google is going to penalize us okay um, so for every mark in every single market for every single business model there is a set number or a specific set of citations you want to be listed in. These on this page is the list of the top 50 in the country. You definitely want to be in all these. So let me show you some um, discrepancies that you have. So your map quest address, you don't have city search. You know, you can see variations in the address and the, the business name, missing listings. So this is the biggest thing is you're missing listings. Again, address. All right, phone number on this one, missing listings. So that's why you have a 31% error rate. Um, Google's definitely penalizing you for San Diego. Um, you've made it very well known already that you are a solar company in San Diego, but they cannot reward you that top position in the local maps um, because of these discrepancies. So that's where you're getting penalized. Okay, so we have to get this thing 100%. All right, now let me show you, once we get this 100%, I want to show you how we are going to dominate your competitor, Sullivan, okay? Because where is he ranked? For San Diego solar panels, right? This guy's number two, all right? And then you have this guy here, Solar Energy San Diego. I'm not too worried about him, though. Um, so let me show you this. So this is WhiteSpark. This is one of my local citation tools. All right, so I've already done the footwork. All right, so I've already found your business. I did a business search to find your citations, and you have 125. Okay, here's Sullivan, Solar Power. He has nearly twice as many. Now, what the incredible thing about this is, I can go in here, view his sources, and show, see exactly where he's listed online. Okay, like whether it be Yelp, you know, Yellow Pages or whatever. There's thousands of these things online. Um, and see where he's listed online and go list your business in his citations okay so that is huge then that is what's gonna get who whatever Google sees in his company right now um, that he's ranked number two we can put your business in that spotlight to move you up these local citations now of course to get to even be considered to get in this top three we need to have a zero percent error rate here right in your in your power listing scan which would be a hundred percent complete backlink profile you want to be in the top 50 but like I said there's thousands and he's listening to 214 you're listening to 125 that's quite a bit okay so that is the strategy that we're gonna take um, to get you ranked in the local maps now just for fun I wanted to see real quick you know side note I did a uh, solar Carlsbad you know because that's where your address is right um, so you you know you guys are are ranked up there. Let's see, right here, number what's that? One, two, three, four. So you're ranked number four for Carlsbad. So um, I know there's probably that's not as much business. You're trying to go San Diego, of course, because that's a 3.5 million population total with county and everything. You know, people are searching San Diego. They want to know who the top companies are. So that's why you definitely want to be um, at the top. Uh, so I'm going to talk to you about the fourth thing, the fifth thing. This is the last one. All right. Um, so like I mentioned earlier, you know, SEO really is what you say about your business online and what everybody else says. Um, so 
and it's also a popularity contest. You know, Google is just like running for presidency. If you're if you have the most votes, you're going to win um, the the seat, right? Um, that's exactly what Google ranking is. You need votes. You need influence pages. Okay, in order to get ranked um, number one in San Diego for for such a big term like San Diego solar panels, right? Um, to be number one here, you have to have the best uh, influence pages linking to you in the most abundance. Okay, so let me talk to you about what that means, and I'll, I'll explain these numbers. All right, so this is your site, right? What's going on with this site is it's saying that there's 216 referencing domains. So this is websites just like yours that have a anchor text, a hyperlink to your site. So anyone reading that article can click the link and it'll go straight to your site. And that's how you are producing um, power, the power that you have right now. And that, that's how you have the votes that you have right now, okay? And Google wants to know is how many of these referencing domains are mentioned in you online and are they popular or are, are they authoritative or not? And that's where your trust flow comes in. All right, so your trust flow at 24. All right, right off the bat, I can tell you this is a good, this is a great trust flow. Um, they want to know how many people talking about lawn and do they matter is pretty much what it means. So let me show you this chart, not this one, this one. All right, so of course, high quality. Let's go, just go straight there. Anything above 20 is high quality, okay? And you're already there at a 24, okay? You have, remember you have 226, okay? And I'll get backlinks are like, you know, blog posting or social media postings, uh, stuff like that. It helps your traffic flow, but Google wants to know how many of these authoritative sites are linking to you. Let me show you Sul Sullivan. So what do you see that's similar? You see the trust flow 24, but look at his domains. He has 385, okay? you have 226 so what's that roughly just give or take 170 so he has about 170 more links all right so what needs to happen here is in order to get you ranked number one you know after you already have the mobile friendly site right check you we've already talked about getting the authoritative content with the keyword research built on the home page at around 1500 words right check then we talk to you about your page title page description right extending those because Google sent out an update check um, and then the fourth thing we talked about your local citations okay getting you a full local profile and then listing you where Sullivan's listed right to get you into that spotlight um, the last thing I'm, is these backlinks okay once everything's done you have to have these backlinks are going to push you up the ranks all right, so we need to build out more high authoritative backlinks, influence pages, and link your site to it. Fortunately for you, AMP Local has unlimited amounts of backlinks. We have acquired some of the most powerful um, web domains online, have written relevant content, published them, and they're sitting online. We've linked you know, many uh, of our accounts to. So I just want to, at this point, I just want to actually show you an example of some of the uh, links that we've built um, and show you the power of those sites so you have an idea. Uh, so here's a, a list that we have. Um, I'm going to show you. I've already opened some of these up. Um, so here's one that we've built and published. So you can just see the power. So it makes sense to you. So look, this one has a trust flow of 39 very high powerful site um, this is another one here okay all right this one's 31 all right and here's another one so you kind of get the idea right I mean this is the the link process the the backlinks influence pages um, is what is going to get you ranked up uh, if you follow the procedure if we've done everything like we've showed you, um, you know, up until the point where it's time to add influential, in, influential pages where people are mentioning you online from very high quality sources. Um, I mean, this one's got a million, over a million uh, backlink history. That's incredible. Um, 
and these are all from for I think a couple of these were on our agency site. I'll even show you our agency site that's on page one of Google, so you can see, um, you know how powerful our site was. I mean, obviously you guys reached out because you searched, right? Um, so yeah, I mean, so just the the power matters. And one thing that's important that we found, uh, you know, the bigger this number is or the higher quality is, Google tends to less less not to worry about um, you know the referring domains so as you can see we have only 13 and the trust flow is 32 and we're on page one of Google for many keywords um, so that's kinda like the approach that we're gonna take with you guys you know you had they Sullivan had what 385 and you guys have 286 if we started pointing these links that are over 30 we have some that are even 40 and 50 um, and you know we can get into that further those are actually government and college uh, you know dot edu and dot gov links those links are very very rare you can't even you can't just ask for them um, but you know once we start adding that type of power to your site uh, you guys are going to be pushed up to the max um, you know so getting to these positions um, number one is not going to be a problem um, you know everything that I've talked to you about it does play a role as a whole SEO. If you're not doing one, but doing everything else, you're not going to get the results. You have to do everything together at once, spaced out over time, to show that you're not trying to trying too hard to rank. Pretty much, okay. Google is very touchy. So, real quick, uh, one last thing before uh, I end the analysis. Um, I showed you I was going to give you a brief overview. Overview. I wasn't able to get into your Google AdWords PPC campaign. Um, but I, I do have this tool that allows me to see roughly how much you guys are spending a month on AdWords and then roughly how much clicks you're getting per month. So right now it's telling me you guys are around 3K per month um, and getting around 600 clicks a month. So um, this tool, I clicked, you know, view paid clicks. So this is how much business is being brought in. Um, from the average amount spent between the t your top five com uh, competitors as far as PPC goes. Um, so right now, you if you, you can see you're this red line at around 600 clicks. Um, these guys, SolarEnergy.com, this blue line, they're pulling in you know twice as much business as you through PPC in San Diego. Um, and what the beautiful thing is about this tool is that I actually can go in here and um, look at their paid keywords so if you wanted to get the business they're getting and rank and put your campaign in front of the keywords that they're targeting I'm able to go into this tool here and uh, pull those keywords and pretty much pump and pump them into your campaign um, because it is the most successful one for San Diego it is the best you know they have the best um, uh, you know campaign set up um, but of course with our strategies and experience we can optimize you a way better campaign um, so you know whenever you go I typed in uh, let's go over to this one yeah so this is a good example so San Diego solar panels so you can see like these guys here um, sungevity.com um, these campaigns and I'll take a look at yours but you also always want to be transparent you want to always want to offer value in your campaigns you always want to have clickable links to the site all right you always want to be offering something okay zero percent down you know uh, special financing leasing um, all those things are great and you always want to have links to the site um, if you can do an address to your business as well that would be phenomenal as well let's see if we have yep so like these guys have uh, an address and they have hours you can even have a phone number I don't know why they don't have the phone number. I would you this thing this campaign you want it filled out 100 percent you know phone number address reviews links to your site um, everything you want to use all your text okay you want you want to just co completely dominate okay so we build out we build out an intriguing you know inspiring motivating campaign for somebody who want to go out and click and then we want to send them to a landing page specifically we don't want to send them to uh, stellar solar okay they don't want to come here they want to come to a simple page where they can put in their information and you have their information to reach out to them so I'll give you an example so we're doing some huge things with um, with real estate agents at the moment um, and uh, let me give you an example so 
We'll look at this one real quick. No, not this one. Um, let's just go to this one. So look, this is what I mean, a simple landing page. Uh, so this is this one we built for a real estate agent. We're actually running uh, Facebook marketing, um, running these Facebook ads that are going out to a very specific audience to individuals that are interested or will be buying a house in the very near future and we're excluding their competitors. So realtors, real estate agents are not able to see this campaign at all. Okay, and we can do this for any market. This is rinse and repeat repeatable. We're doing it for auto dealers, uh, San Diego Auto Connection right now, one of our clients. Um, you know, any any niche, we can we can do this, especially for solar. People that are in the market that have interest in solar, you're able to do it in Facebook advertising. And I can get into this even more detail. I wanted to keep this thing short. I think I'm running almost 30 minutes now. But this is where we want to send all of your, from your PPC, we want to send them to a page where you're going to get their name and their phone number, okay, or their information. This one is set up for their name and their email address to receive something back, okay. And then the second landing page that we send them to um, looks like this, okay. So same thing, same concept, right, but then now we're asking for their phone number and address, okay. So, and then a question at the bottom, send my referrals or, or, or send my list or whatever. So this, this whole concept will be completely tailored to your services and products and what you're offering. Um, but that's the idea. You don't want to send them to a page where they're going to have to navigate. Oh, where, where's the contact button? No, oh, there's the contact us. Okay, wait, what do they offer? Do they offer residential solar? Oh, let me go look. Do they have residential solar? You know, you just don't want to do that. You want to send them to a page where they can put in their information right away. Um, and you want to get their information, get them on a call, get the appointment scheduled right away. Um, because the, the more, you know, walls they have to, you know, jump over and hoops they have to jump through, um, they're just going to click off the page. You literally have two and a half seconds to close a client on contact and you from their first when they first reach out to you. Um, so no better way than to get them in front of a landing page that is straight up asking, because they've already read your campaign, right, on Google. They've already read it. Okay, solar company, you know, offering zero down, you know, click here to register or click here to, to get more. Just ask from, from, for their information. Uh, we can build out a custom page that has, um, you know, more to it that has like what you're offering specifically the cities that you serve in a very nice detail format um, but sending them uh, to your site um, you're going to get less conversions landing pages I don't know how much you've heard but they're like the way to go okay so um, that pretty much concludes my analysis Brooks uh, I know it went a little bit longer but I really appreciate you taking the time to watch it, um, it this is going to set us up very nicely for our meeting um, tomorrow uh, Friday at 10 a.m. I'm going to drive up there to, to meet you guys. So again, thanks for the time to taking us. Thanks for reaching out uh, to Amp Local. And I look forward to meeting with you and discussing the future of Stellar Solar. Thank you and have a great day.